know, sometimes you go on vacation, vacation is different because you're enjoying yourself and, right. you know, it, but to actually live here, I just needed to make sure that that was something that I needed to do. Because I know like Dominican Republic is completely different from the US. Like people do things differently. One thing I've had to learn is, I guess you can say is patience. <laughs> because <laughs> they are definitely- Caribbean time. Dominican. Oh, Dominican time. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'll be there to connect your internet at 2.30. And it's like almost five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was, it was just, yeah, just just getting used to, you know, a different culture and right. the, the way that they, you know, live over here. That's great. I mean, so you decided to take the leap. And I think that um, something you mentioned that I think, and also just kind of how I found out that you had moved even, is um, through Facebook groups, right? Like there are Facebook groups for expats for like almost any country. So if you're thinking about moving somewhere, that is a great resource to like look for a Facebook group for people who have already moved or in that process as well, because you can learn information from people who are actually there instead of just thinking you're going to base it on one or two trips. Like you said, vacation is different, right? So yeah. when you actually get that, you know, like, like stuff like you just mentioned, like, okay, how do you get internet service? Right. Cause that's like a thing people want to know about, but yeah. you can really use those groups as like resources um, mm -hmm. to help you kind of investigate more when you're trying to figure out those like day-to-day -day things that you might not think about before you actually have to move. So, Oh yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I do want to ask you a question about safety because that's the number one question. So I put it in our Facebook group. I said, okay, what do you want to know about moving, right? If you want to move to Dominican Republic or any other Spanish speaking country. Mm -hmm. And like the number one question I got from people is like, is it safe? Right? Like, I think we have this conception being from the U S and you know, the way we deal with crime, when we look at crime may be different than other places. And I know there's this fear that people have with the unfamiliar, because when you don't know, you, you automatically just go to fear, right? Until mm -hmm. you actually have the experience. So in terms of, you know, the area that you live in, how would you say it is uh, in terms of safety, especially as someone coming from the U.S. and kind of being seen as this person maybe that has like more money and resources than like the average Dominican because you came from the U.S.? Like how safe do you feel as an American moving to DR? I have to say I definitely feel safe here. Um, from Europe to the United States, I've, I've came across bad experiences when it comes to safety. So me being a female traveling back and forth from DR for the last two, two and a half, it's been since 2018. So tw two and a half years that I've been traveling back, in here, back and forth here. The first time I came, I didn't come by myself. I actually came with my friend who's from Colombia, who is Colombian. But when I now, she only came with me that one time. And by the, um, besides the time I came with my son, I come back and forth here by myself. I travel from Illinois here all the time by myself. In Santiago where, you know, I'm staying, I, I could walk around the neighborhood. Um, I, people say hello, they greet me. It's, it's very safe. I think if I would have had a bad experience, you know, from the, the few years that I've been coming back here, I couldn't do it. I, I would not be coming back and forth like I have because I'm just, I'm just gonna say like with anxiety, you know, just thinking, oh my gosh, you know, what's gonna happen, you know, if I just walk around right. the corner, you know? Um, so I have, it's very safe. I've not had any bad experience. I haven't heard of any expats that are living here. I know a few um, women that have made the move and are living here now in DR. And they too, like they, they're like, they always feel safe. They've never had any bad experiences. One thing I could say with me going, I've been to Cuba, I've been to Puerto Rico and they do the same thing is the men will hiss at you. They will say, hey, you know, hey mommy. Like if I'm walking down the street, like the men will, you know, call, they'll, they'll call for you, like try and be flirtatious and talk to you. But if you just be like, oh, you yeah. know, don't yeah. say anything or just keep doing whatever you're doing. They leave you alone. It's not like they harass you. At least I've never had that. They don't harass you or they just keep it moving. They'll just say whatever they, they say and then they, they go. But as far as feeling, even though I'm from the U.S. and they know, people know I'm not from here. They don't pay me any mind. They're just very friendly. They actually be like, oh, if you need anything, please let me know. I'm just right around the corner. I'm just right here. Something that I've never experienced in the States, me living on a military installation too, everybody keeps to themselves. 
-hmm. nobody, the neighbors, new neighbors move and they don't come and introduce themselves. And, you know, I'm in a very close knit military community, but here in the DR, it's completely different. Everybody is just like family. They, they all stick together. You know, they, it's, yeah, I have to say I've, I feel more safer here than any other place to be honest. Yes. Wow, that, that is uh, interesting to hear. And I'm glad to get that from you, from someone who has gone back and forth for several years, because I think a lot of the press, I think maybe, I don't know, a year or two ago now, everything's been about COVID right now. It seems like yeah. that was like 10 years ago, right? But it wasn't that long ago where people were talking about tourists, like having trouble in like some of their resorts. And so I know that DR had like, a bad, uh, some bad press for a little bit. People are like, oh, you don't want to go there because oh, such and such could happen to you. Yeah. So to hear you say that you've gone back and forth for several years and, you know, being somebody who is, you know, especially females, right? Like when you travel alone as a female, you, you definitely don't want to go somewhere where you don't feel safe. So I think that our listeners will be happy to hear that, you know, firsthand experience that, you know, not to believe the hype, right? Like, don't believe everything that no. you read. Hey, I'm not the type to jump on a plane and just go travel by myself. Um, like, I, I, I suffer from anxiety. And for me, I have to be comfortable. Like, I have to be comfortable in any place or any, like, that's just not like me. Even my family was shocked. Like, wow, you're really getting on a plane, just jumping on a plane and going, like, over there by <laughs> yourself. And, you know, I'll go. Um, this I rented a car since I've been here on this trip, so I'm driving over here. And I used to be like, I could never drive in DR. You know, friends of the family, like, I was like, no, don't come pick me up. I'm going to head straight to Santiago and just do what I have to do. And I did it. I, I've been doing a lot of things on my own. I just come and go as I please. It's usually uh, the close friends of mine, um, the boys. Boys, they'll be the ones to take me to the store. No, we'll take you to the store. They want to do everything for me. But I'm like, if I'm going to be here, like I have to learn how to do things for myself too. Right. You know, even though I have my family here, but me just being here, you know, right now by myself, like they, they always want to do things for you. They want to make sure you're like, you're fed. They don't want me to be alone in my apartment in Santiago. They want to be with me to make sure that I'm safe. That's just the way they are. They're just very, cause I'm like, I don't have this in the States. I just do what I need to do. But over here, right. They need to know, like, everywhere I am, even if I'm sitting on the front porch here in La Vega, like, uh, they, they're always checking up on me. And I'm like, I'm a, I'm a grown woman. Like, I could take care of myself. But that, <laughs> that's just them being protective because they know I'm not from here. And they're not saying that anything. They never said, oh, someone will do something to you. But it's just them, just their culture, just making sure I'm fine. And not to walk around with my phone because I like to take video and post video so people can see parts of um, Dominican Republic, but you know, stuff like that, you gotta be careful. They say that people will snatch your phone and they'll run. Um, but bes besides that, I mean, it's safe. I mean, just a lot of, you know, people around here, they don't have a lot of things. So if they see somebody with something fancy, yeah. they, you know, just normal, they just want it. But as far as the crime and as far as anybody being murdered or anything like that, Thank you.